All right, this is the video where we add a sidebar to this. It is important that we, dis we design this video very, this particular view very well. And once this view is designed very well, we can now duplicate it for other views, you understand, so that we don't repeat ourselves. First of all, I don't like this background. I want this particular guys to be in white, all right? So we're gonna do it first. I'll go to my view, show the blade. Inside this row, I'm just gonna add a style. And uh, the style will contain a background color of uh, background color of white uh, because white just looks cool and I can do it. That's why I'm doing it. You can put yours at a different color. So if we refresh, um, we'll see that it's now white in color. All right. So, but I want it to be a little inner. So I'm just gonna go back and put some padding to it. So I'm just gonna say margin. I'm just gonna say margin uh, 10 pixels. So this particularly makes it cool for me. You can do yours in any other way you want. So I've done the margin. Now the next thing I want to do is to put a right menu. So I'm going to go to bootstrap, just bootstrap.com. And of course, as before, you just click on getting started. Go to getbootstrap.com. Make sure you select bootstrap 3, 3.3. So click on getting started. Then scroll down, 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 down. So right here, we'll see that uh, we're looking for each of which of Bootstrap templates has a right menu. So we can just hijack the right menu, then customize it for our code. As you can see, this one has one. So I'm just going to click on it. And when it opens, we'll copy the code that makes up the right menu. So I'm going to right click here and click on inspect. So when the inspect opens, uh, make sure I click on this. Then let me drag this to the right a little. Oops, to the left a little. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. I'll right click on it one more time, refresh. So this is what I'm looking for. This sidebar, that's what we're looking for. So we're just going to edit as HTML, of course. But then we'll copy all the HTML, select all, and then we'll copy. So um, now it's copied. We can come here and put it, but first of all, I want to wrap everything here inside a div. So I'm just gonna say a div. We're going to create a div. And that div, we're going to make sure that it occupies only a section of our page. According to Bootstrap, I just say, if the screen size is medium, then give it a size of 9. If it is large, give it a size of 9 too. So between medium and large screens, we have a size of, size of line. Then we can pull it to the left and uh, close this. Then right here at the bottom, we'll close the div. I hope you understand what I'm doing. I'm just making sure that everything here is moved to the left so that we can have more space at the right. In Bootstrap, remember, the, the length of the screen size is 12. So if you do 9, that means you still have 3 spaces left. So right under here, we're going to put the spaces. I'll Control V. I've pasted this one. Now I'll, I'll go to the top uh, where I pasted it, alright? Let me just scroll up so you see. This guy stops here. Then this is what I just pasted. As you can see, the code they, they wrote is that if it is a small screen, like a phone screen uh, or tablet screen, that it should be that this menu should only be three. But we're not really wanting that. We just want it to be called MD3. All right, called LG3, which means uh, we should just do an the same thing for the extra for the small screen like tablets called SM3. Okay, so um, then we don't need to offset it. The offset is not uh, useful to us. We don't need the block side by anything. It's not useful to us. So what we can do is to pull it to the right. So we'll pull it to the right. So we'll just go and see. And then we're here. And if we're here, we'll refresh. Just to test our bootstrap skills. Cool. So we now have this by the the right hand side of our code of our page. So now we can now start doing cool stuff. So um what we really need to do here is um for instance we can use this to list list of users in this company, and then we can use this also to list our um, what do you call it uh, the the edit, delete, and um, whatever items here. So um I'm just gonna go back. I'll comment out this. We don't need it. Comment it out. Cool, it's gone. And then we're just gonna take one of the sidebars. And 
at the top here sidebar module so this will basically contain edits edits the company delete the company um, those are the only two things we want to see and okay we can just say add a user add new user okay cool so right here uh, we can just um, call this manage or actions and here we can just say uh, users of members so add new member okay so um let's just see that means we have to remove this too i hope you understand what i'm doing i'm just trying to customize that sidebar so it will look cool super cool so if we refresh we now have these three cool links and then list of members what i'll just do is to make sure that um, this actually displays members instead of just the months so to quickly do that i'll remove all the options except one and then i'm gonna do remember from our company model this is the company model we did belongs to this belongs to a user um well i think in the next video because our time has passed now we'll look at um, how to retrieve all the users that belong to this company remember that um it has everything to do with the the company um did we really do that i think I, I don't think we wanted to add users to company we just wanted to add users to projects so um i think we, we have to stop there for this let me comment this out maybe later on when we're done with our mvp we can uh start listing users so i'll just uh, take this out and we may need it in the next view all right so this is out for us for now when we create the view for projects we can add the view for adding users so this looks cool to me you can design yours in another way all right see you in the next video where we work on other things